So this is 2018 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2. Uh, it's on uh, statistics from the topic statistics. And we are told the table below shows the frequency distribution of height of 40 plants in a tree nursery. So you are given the range height of the plant 0 to 10, frequency is 4, up to where we have uh, the frequency the 50 to 60, where the frequency is 2. So the first question we are told is to state the mode of class. The mode of class is that class with the highest frequency and we check on the table this is a class that has the highest frequency so the model class is 30 to 40 that is the model class uh, the second question we are told to calculate man number a the mean height of the plants uh, for us to do, to do this we need to prepare a table which is going to help us uh, to get the mean height and that will be easier. So let's construct that table. So this is a table that I have constructed. You don't necessarily have to use a ruler. I have done that for my own convenience. You just use your free hand. So we have the first uh, column. We have the cross. Uh, that is uh, our class. The second one is uh, our X, and this X represents midpoint. Then we have our frequency. Uh, then uh, we will multiply the frequency, multiply by our X, which is the midpoint. Uh, then we are going to square that, and we will have our X squared. Uh, this is because uh, later on in part of the question, as you see, we need to calculate the variance and the standard deviation. So our class here is from 0 to 10. Uh, then we have 10 to 20. We have uh, 20 to 30. T, 30. Then we have 30 to 40. We have 40 to 50. We have 50 to 60. So those are our classes. The midpoint of from 0 to 10 is 5. Uh, this midpoint between 10 and 20 is 15. We have 25. We have 35. We have 45. And uh, we have 55. Then the frequency, these are the frequencies that we have been given. The frequency here is 4. We have 8. We have 10. We have 12. We have 4. And we have 2. Uh, then we multiply F multiplied by X. Uh, so this is 5 multiplied by 4. And that will give us 20. Uh, this will give us 15 times 8 to give us 120. Uh, 25 times 10, that will give us 250. Uh, 35 multiplied by 12, that will give us 420. Then we have, uh, we have 45 times 4, that will give us 180. Then we have 55 times 2. And that will give us 110. Uh, we square our x. So 5 squared. That will give us 25. Uh, we have 15 squared. This will give us 225. We have uh, six, uh, 25 squared. That is 625. Uh, we have uh, uh, we have uh, 35 squared. That will give us... 1,225 we have 45 squared it will give us 2,045 and finally we have 55 squared it will give us 3,025 finally we multiply our frequency multiply by x squared and this will give us 100 that is uh, 4 times 25 this will give us a hundred 
uh, then we have 8 multiplied by 225 that will give us 1800 uh, then 10 multiplied by 625 that is 6250 uh, then we have uh, 12 multiplied by 12 for 25 and that should give us 14 uh, 700 uh, then we have 4 times 20 25 this will give us 8100 and finally we have 6000 uh, 2 times 30 25 and that should give us 6000 and 50. So that is our table that uh, we have prepared. Uh, we will need to add to do some uh, summation. So let's do the summation. So when you total the frequency here, you get it is 40. Uh, you total Fx, you get it is 1000. 100 then you total fx squared you get that it's that 7000 so now we go to our question now to calculate the mean height of the plant the formula for uh, for calculating the mean is x bar is equals to the summation of fx divide by the frequency so we go to our fx it is 1100 you divide by the sum of the frequency which is 40 and this is going to give us uh, uh, 27.5 uh, so that is uh, that is uh, the, the mean height of the plant uh, so that you get to you earn yourself uh, four marks so far. The second part of uh, part B, we are supposed to calculate the standard deviation of the uh, distribution. The standard deviation uh, SD is equals to the square root of variance. You run that in form 4. So we need to get the variance, then we get the square root. So variance is equals to uh, summation of fx squared divided by summation of f minus the mean, that is x bar. And this is equals to uh, the summation of fx squared is at 7,000. So this is at 7,000 divided by the summation of is 40 we minus uh, the, 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 the mean is 27.5. So when you work out that, you should be able to get the variance is equal to 168 using your calculator. 168.75 so that is the variance and therefore standard deviation SD is equals to standard deviation the square root of 168.75 and using your calculator you will be able to get that the, uh, the standard deviation is 12.99 so that is how we work out that to get the variance. We now go to part C of this question. So part C of this question, we are required to determine the probability that a prime taken at random has a height greater than 40 centimeters. So this, we say that uh, if you come to our table here, uh, the plants between 40 and 50, uh, we have 4. Uh, between 50 and uh, 60, we have 2. So we can say uh, that uh, number of plants whose height is greater than 40 
we have 4 uh, plus 2 is equals to 6. So 6 plants. Uh, therefore, probability that the height of a plant is greater than 40 is equals to uh, the number of plants that have that height, those are 6 plants, divided by the total number of plants, that is uh, 40, and that will give us, this is uh, 3 over 20, or uh, 0 0.15. So that is the probability that a plant, uh, a plant has a height greater than 40. And that brings us to the end of that question. Uh, so, so that's how you handle uh, that kind of a question on statistics.